guys, it's X. Today's video is gonna be about what I bring to me at work, what I carry in my pockets, and sort of a little bit on how I give report. So, before you swipe me away or exit me out of this video, if you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share, and it'll be much appreciated. So, let's just jump right into it. Um, so I don't have a locker at work, so I just picked up this little red backpack at Ross, and I bought it because it looked like a first aid kit. <laughs> but I basically carry everything in here since I don't have a locker, take my lunch in here and stuff. So I have hand sanitizer, of course, on my backpack. And then I'm just going to go quickly through what I have in my backpack. And the first thing I have is my book of certifications. So everything in here is my ACLS, my BLS. Um, if you guys have PALS or your license, everything, they don't give card licenses anymore I don't believe in California so I think I was like one of the last people to get one so I still have it even though it says it's expired on it I still carry it with me just because I like having the hard copy and then the next thing I have obviously is my badge so you need that to clock in and out of work and staple for me da -da -da -da. when you work three days in a row you are going to need lotion because you are constantly constantly washing your hands and by the third day my hands are just so sore and they're aching in pain from all um, the hand washing that I do and then extra hair tie you will always need this <laughs> because you just never know sometimes I go with my hair straightened and it just drives me crazy when I have it down and like if you're in the middle of a code you don't want to not have this I also carry a lint roller because you want to be professional look your best at all times and then I have this little pack of stuff and in here I have hair ties mints toothbrush and toothpaste and then I always have lipstick <laughs> I don't know why like it's the only really makeup staple that I have and of course a chapstick can't forget that my biggest fear is like a patient to be like my nurse's breath smells so i don't know why but like i absolutely have to have a toothbrush and toothpaste with me whenever i'm in the hospital and then sometimes i carry these references if it's like something new that i learned this is a cardiac um i don't even remember what this is actually called but it's basically our hemodynamics um i carry it just for reference in case i haven't had a patient that has like a Swangans catheter for the very, for like a long time because we don't really get those. I'm not cardiac trained at my hospital, so they don't give me the patients with the swans. Um, but hopefully I will be trained soon. And then of course, you can't live without pins. I cannot live without these pins. And I one time went to like four or five different stores trying to find these. And the reason why I just prefer this over a simple black pin is because I write my report in black. I write my to-dos in blue, my reds are my absolutely pay attention to me, and then my write my labs in green, so I can't go to work without one of those pins, and I bring extra because I will literally cry if I don't have that pin. Um, when I was a nursing student, I used to carry a notebook just with like phone numbers and little tips and tricks that the nurses used to tell me, but I don't carry it anymore because they don't really need it. Um, at the hospital I'm at when you're in depending on the floor you're on you have a little bit more resources when you're in the hospital so on my floor since I work in the ICU it's kind of like a closed circle we do have uh, CNAs and like a clerk and a teletech so I don't have to worry about calling different places I can just ask my clerk hey can you please help me and page this person and they will do it so I and they have it on our badge I don't have it here obviously because this is not my real badge my hospital has asked me not to post any pictures or anything on social media so that is not my real badge um i also carry extra badge holders in my backpack and the reason why is because if they break it is so annoying i don't want to lose my badge you have to like pay to replace it and you just can't get an in and out of the doors and it's just a mess and i would hate to bother any other nurse while i'm you know in the hospital so <laughs> Yeah, I don't carry that with me. Um, and then depending on what floor you're on, you can have a handy dandy pulse ox. I don't need this in the ICU because all of our patients are on monitors. But um, when I worked at my PCU, my last PCU job, 
I didn't carry these either because we have um, monitors, but then I would float to telly sometimes and they didn't have pole socks on. So sometimes it's hard to get a reading on a patient. I see the RTs carry this. So I do keep this with me um, just in case and I actually carry it with me in my backpack and I leave my backpack in my car just in case there's ever like an accident or anything. I can at least stop by or help um, if needed. So I have that. And then another thing I have is my tattoo covers, which I don't usually wear because I always wear long sleeves at work anyway, but you wanna be professional. If your job doesn't allow you to show your tattoos, you wanna cover that. And then I used to carry tape around with me all the time, which is a big no-no in a lot of hospitals, um, but I don't carry it with me anymore. It just so happens to still be in my backpack. But um, usually they have us like, I used to have alcohol swabs um, and flushes with me and tape because I like to be prepared. Time management is a very big thing to me. However, I, um, we're not allowed to carry those in our back in our pockets it's against the rules so now I just keep them close and then I have like a bag of tea because I work night shift and it gets crazy and if you're tired at like I think my plateau is always like two o'clock in the morning between two and four where I'm like I am getting tired so it's always good to have some source of caffeine with you and then obviously a stethoscope and depending I mean now that I've worked at several hospitals um, some nurses carry these, some don't. Some doctors never carry these. Uh, they do have disposable ones, but I've had this one since nursing school and I really love it. And I just don't feel prepared when I don't have things in my pocket. Like I just feel like I'm not ready to work. And I actually freak out whenever I lose this or don't, like I can't feel it in my pocket because I'm like, oh my God, what do I do with it? I've literally had a stethoscope for three years and it's limited edition. So I'm like, I don't want to lose this. Um, I also have a clock on here, which you don't use, but I mean, <laughs> I have it just in case I mean the battery died so I don't even use it anymore but I always have a watch on me and I actually really love my Apple watch when it comes to um, working as a nurse because whenever there's a code I can start the stopwatch and we can literally time like every two minutes or whenever there's like a medication that has to be due or I tell a patient like oh I'm gonna be back um, or they're like can you give me a little bit extra time I'll tell them like okay I'm literally setting a timer for this so that I know when it goes off that I have to come back I like to be very um, open with my patients about what we're doing for the day I really like to have them on a schedule so that they know so and I have learned throughout my career that people hate to wait and people hate to be NPO and to be waiting and being NPO at the same time is like a huge thing that causes conflict and makes people angry which I don't blame them I mean who wants to be hangry but um, just telling them the time is like and what we're doing and being on time and letting them catch like letting them know hey this is taking a little bit longer than usual I can tell has um, eased situations for me at work and then I have this, it's kind of dirty because I've had it for like three years, but um, I, got, I think you could get it online, like $11 on Amazon. I need a new one because this one's really disgusting, but um, it's basically like a pocket organizer. I put my phone in the back with me and then I always carry a whiteboard marker because you have to update your whiteboard every day when you introduce yourself to your patients and your name what do the goals are for the day I have a sharpie with me to mark IVs or I don't know um mark any other things like dressings that I'm doing my pen that I've already talked about that I absolutely love I have my call uh my, my call light my pin light um I really like this um one of my CNAs showed me his and I absolutely loved it it is um, a re not a disposable, a re I don't want to say reusable, rechargeable. It's a rechargeable pen light. I got it on Amazon. I think it was like two for $13 and it comes with the charger and it's like bright enough to get the job done, but not bright enough to like blind your patient. I also carry scissors with me. You have no idea how handy these scissors are. <laughs> Um, and you re never realize how often you actually use your scissors at work until you don't have them with you. And then my Kelly clamps, which you're probably like when I first got these as a nursing student, I'm like, when the hell am I ever going to use these Kelly clamps? But these Kelly clamps are amazing. Whenever you have like, um, an IV port that's like stuck, like that won't come off. You can use these whenever you're taking, um, bladder pressure, you can use this to 
pot off the like clamp the foley you can also use it for your like chest tubes whenever if you don't have one in the room so I just love everything in here everybody's always shocked that I have a Kelly clamp in my <laughs> in my pocket but honestly I'm so glad I do and I don't think I could ever go to work without these things um, I feel like my day would just kind of be lost and then I have literally a pharmacy in my backpack because I you never want to be at work and like get sick and then not feel well and then if you can't go home um, so I have in my backpack, I have Zofran with me because I get migraines and it makes like the pain is one thing but the nausea accompanied by the pain is another. So I always carry like Tylenol, Advil. Um, if I'm sick, I'll bring, you know, my Sudafed and whatever. And then I have, if I'm wearing contacts that day, my eye drops in there with me because I just like to be prepared. And then... Oh my god, there's so much stuff in here, I don't even know where it all goes. The last thing that I carry with me that I absolutely must have, and I absolutely love this thing, it is a foldable clipboard. There are two different kinds. There's this one, and then, which we call the hot dog, but there's the other one that can fold in half like a hamburger. And I actually prefer this one because I can put it in my side pocket, um, my cargo pants um, on my scrubs the other one does fold in half the other way and it fits in most scrub pockets but I already have like my phone and then I have my work phone that I have to carry with me and my stethoscope and all that I don't like carrying my stethoscope around my neck because it just it gives me headaches so I prefer not to do that but um, I carry those things with me and this is just so helpful I saw a nurse use this she um used to have it in her pocket. I bought the wrong one because this is for Pete's and I was like I don't take care of Pete's patients but I guess if I ever have one. Um, it's really good to keep this with me. This is where I keep my um, report sheet, my Cardex. Um, I don't know if all the hospitals, I know in all the hospitals don't use Cardex. So it's basically like a printout of sheet of the patient and like their, a little bit of their information and I just think it, it like I carry this with me everywhere. I feel like it keeps um, their information safe from HIPAA. Mm, this like nobody's gonna go around and look on this if it's on your desk. Like hopefully they don't. But um, I don't know. It just I feel like it protects your patients from HIPAA and it you can carry it with you. And then I have extra copies of my brain that I actually got from one of my friends at my previous job. But I kind of this is the one that he gave me. But I kind of had my own. Um, like idea of what I've been doing since I first started nursing and it's kind of hard to get out of the habit so I just kind of redid mine um let me see if you can see it I know it's backwards and the alignment is so off on this because I copied it wrong but basically everywhere you go depending on what unit you work on you're gonna have different information to relate to the nurse so I always put my patient sticker up here and then put their diagnosis their history whether they're full code or DNR or what allergies they have up here and then on this side I literally write down my labs um, not every place writes down their labs, not every nurse looks at their labs. I do, um, even though I work night shift and my labs are probably not from the morning, I really like having it with me just because I like to see trends and stuff and if I ever have a doctor rounding it, especially when you're on day shift and they ask questions, like you don't have to sit there and open the computer. There is a big ass spider outside my window, <laughs> sorry. Um, you just have it right here in hand and I just feel like I'm more prepared that way. And then my to-do side, I literally write down all the times and all the medications that I have, what the plan is for the day, like whether they're gonna, usually it's like at 4.30 in the morning, x-ray labs are due, so that'll write that down. And I just, um, I one time had a patient who complained when I was a student nurse, I was still working with a preceptor, and she complained one day that I, um, wasn't in the room quite often and how come I never she never saw me and we were literally there every hour and I was like okay well now you know we'll know that she's the type of person that wants us in there a little bit more so then the next day 
um, we were in there a little bit often and then they complained that they couldn't sleep. <laughs> so I was like, well, which is it? Am I here too often or am I not here enough? So I just learned to early on give my patients a plan for the night or for the day. So I'll literally tell them I have medication for you at this, this, and this time. I'm going to draw your labs and there's going to be an x-ray done at this time. Wound care here, bath at this time. And kind of just lets them know that I'm not neglecting them and that I will come back and see them. And then um, since I do work in the ICU, I know you can't really see this, but giving report is very important, especially when you have a lot of life-saving medications and there's a lot of controversy with bedside report. I mean, it should be the standard, but a lot of nurses don't like to do it. Um, but I do, I feel like it is a great opportunity for me to kind of scan the room, see what my patient is doing, if they're awake or whatever, and seeing like what medications they have that are life-saving medications that might be running out soon. It's just an opportunity to go over the lines and make sure nothing's wrong. I mean, I, one time a nurse tried to accuse me of having an infiltrated IV and that the patient wasn't getting their life-saving medication, which I knew wasn't true because I had literally gone and I traced the IV sight from the bag to the pole down to the patient's arm where we both looked at it and it was fine then so it's like you can't blame me for something when we actually went over it so i definitely think it's a good thing to do um bedside report especially when you have patients that have a ton of things going on so um, the way I was taught to give report, which is very important, is in, is in systems. Um, some people use an S-bar. I know there's many different um, ways to give report, and I don't want to say there's one right way because there isn't. I don't think there's one right way of doing nursing. Everyone kind of has their own style. There's no like set standard, especially hospital to hospital, nurse to nurse, like on how to give report. So the way I was taught was to do it in systems, and I think this is the best way because you don't miss anything. Um, so in my neuro, um, I learned this too at different hospitals. Like I, especially being in the ICU, like depending on, I like to tell what my drips are all at the end. Like they're on this cardiac medication for this, they're on this sedation for like neuro. And then I was hearing doctors saying like pain in the neuro assessment. I didn't understand why I thought pain was like its own category, but at the specific hospital that I worked at, it was not. So um, I don't know the way I give report is I give a neuro I do respiratory cardiac GI GU musculoskeletal skin IV sites IV drips and then I have a plan and I definitely especially working as a night shift nurse I hate not knowing the plan I definitely like working day shift better just because I feel like I know exactly what's going on with my patient and I feel like during the day you kind of are able to ask the doctors like why is this patient still here what are we doing for them so I definitely like that part of working day shift better but um I like the night shift <laughs> I don't know I'm just used to it you make more money and you just I don't know it's a different environment at night and I just I really like my coworkers at night but I definitely feel like I have to search through like tons of notes to kind of see what's going on with the patient from different doctors especially if the doctors don't really talk to each other you have to read note from note so yeah, that's basically it. Um, I'll probably do another video further detailing um, what my report sheet looks like, but basically this is it, neuro, respiratory, cardiac. Um, I don't know why, I just kind of, I guess did airway, breathing, circulation. So some people actually do cardiac before respiratory, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, GIGU, and then I have this little guy here, which everybody always is like, oh, your little guy is so cute. Um, I got it from a friend at our last job because, and I really like it because I work with trauma and our trauma patients have a ton of wounds and I just like being able to draw it on the little stick figure and like being able to visualize where all these wounds are. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope it helped. Questions down below, I will answer them with I can. Have a great day. Bye.